Uh, welcome to Market Alert uh, for Tuesday the 18th of December 2018. Starting off with the pound, yesterday a quiet day, no news yesterday. As we spoke about in the alert, you can see that uh, we have uh, an inside bar for yesterday as well, which means that prices were inside of the range of the previous day. And uh, I think uh, politically, uh, to move the markets, I see Corbyn's uh, wants a, a vote of no confidence against the government. And that's all seems to be dominating the news this morning. And uh, no doubt will have an impact on the pound going forward. Uh, but yesterday you can see uh, the market just moving higher than uh, as soon as we hit uh, the R1. You can see that prices uh, stopped and then uh, moved to the downside, which you can see there. We have a sell signal as well, which is uh, still uh, in existence there as... Um, prices remain uh, sideways above the 200 bar moving average at the moment and also the DP so we're close below the 50 bar and through these levels will be required for the short side to uh, take hold there and news today um, no high impact news items uh, tomorrow the markets uh, got a busy day it's the F uh, not, um, FOMC uh, meeting minutes and uh, we're going to be interesting to see if whether he increases rates again and if he does it's uh, certainly going to put pressure on the global uh, economy it's making um, it harder to borrow money because of the rates increasing and again as i've said before many times in the alerts in my opinion this is just so that they can reduce them when we go into a global recession which uh, appears to be starting to make its uh, mark when you just read through what's going on on uh, zero hedge at the moment uh, with regards to where we've got one there, property prices plunge uh, at a rate not seen in stock slide. And we're also heading for the 2018 low for the Dow. There's plenty here of uh, economic data uh, talking about uh, the markets and different global crises that are happening. Um, so, yeah, I wouldn't be at all surprised if things don't uh, just get uh, worse going into next year. The Dow tried to, to move high. We can see uh, prices moving lower, the market being uh, bought back. Uh, a lot of volume in this bar here, driving the market higher. You get the retracement, market moves higher. You then get the double peak here right at uh, Friday's close at the 200 bar moving average. And then it's just all the way back down again as prices uh, sell off and then you get some profit taking at the end of the session there as well. well certainly the 200 bar there holding the uh, resistance in this market with prices moving lower off the uh, double top there and in the daily chart uh, you can see that the low of 23.877 is taken out the market did its best yesterday to hold back above the 24,000 level it was fascinating to watch but eventually it succumbed to the selling and again very low volume for yesterday which is very strange unless the market's being marked down ready for uh, Powell to say well actually we've changed our minds we're not going to increase interest rates and that will ignite the stock market if that is the case uh, because this market uh, is in need of some decent news to move uh, prices higher so be be warned, even though it's a given that he's going to increase interest rates, uh, he may change his mind. There might be pressure from uh, Trump and and uh, co. And because it's having an impact on the economy. As I've always said, these things are politically driven, even though they, they say that they have uh, independence. I don't necessarily buy that. There's going to be some sort of influence. So we'll just wait and see. So the, it could be a, a classic case of prices being marked down ready. And then uh, we see the, the moon shoot back because if they start reducing interest rates, the money flows back into the stock market. How much it's got to the upside is the question, but that's generally uh, what has been the pattern. And uh, Bitcoin yesterday, uh, surprise move to the upside. Uh, came out of nowhere. The market's been very quiet in a sideways move and uh, we shot to the upside. And again, this could be related to uh, particular weakness in the stock market also the metals market yesterday moving higher again as well so uh, interesting picture developing there in bitcoin It'll be interesting to see what the retracement side is like and then what the market does uh, after this whether it can move higher 
or a ghost back to the downside so we'll see as we go through the uh, the christmas season that uh, is nearly upon us okay let's wait and see what happens there wouldn't expect too much as the market is waiting for the uh, fomc market uh, minutes tomorrow evening 7 p.m all eyes will be focused in this arena and particularly the bond market as well and with that thanks for watching see you in the next one